guys, my name is Chloe, otherwise known as Princess Aspion, and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I decided I was going to do a bit of a makeup tutorial. Uh, I'm, I'm not a makeup artist, I am not a makeup expert. I know nothing about makeup. <laughs> I have had a couple of different people ask me or talk to me or question me about my makeup. Um, and I thought it might be something fun to do. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my makeup. Take what you want from it. Don't take any of this seriously because like I said, I am not a professional. I am not a makeup artist. So I've got my mirror here. So I will be looking in this general vicinity. I am completely blank faced at the moment. Also, I got my hair done last week. It's very curly at the moment. I don't know what you guys think about it. I love it. I just thought I wanted a change and I can't color my hair at the moment. So I don't know. I just wanted to get a change. So um, I got a perm. Anyway, back on topic. Stay on track, Chloe. I have got so many little face demons going on at the moment. You know when you... Oh, I also have chocolate sauce in my face from breakfast this morning. That's okay. So this makeup that I'm doing today is just my general everyday makeup. When I say everyday makeup, I mean my everyday going out makeup because I do not wear makeup every day. I literally only wear makeup if I have got something important to do outside of my house. Also, please don't take any makeup advice from me and please don't like jump down my throat if I'm doing it wrong because I don't know what I'm doing. This is my extremely old primer that I am using today. I don't even know the name of it anymore because it is literally just... It's gone. So I just literally, I just put that on my fingers and just smack it on. There we go, beautiful. Just kind of like rub it in everywhere. So for my foundation, I am going to be using this one here. This is a Revlon, I call it cake makeup. I don't know what everyone else calls it, but this is just one of those makeups. Uh, this, there's toothpaste on this. I am a great makeup person. This is that type of makeup that you use. It's very cakey and sticky and um, it's just easy to apply. You just like... But this is the only one that I found that which matches my skin shade like perfectly. I just literally just kind of like smack it on there in a few different general locations like so. Who needs brushes when God gave you your own little teeny tiny brushes anyway? So I literally just like go ahead and just kind of like rub it in with my own fingers. This is probably, I don't know, is this unsanitary? I don't know. I don't think so. I washed my hands once. Done. Okay. After we do that, we go on to contouring. I use this palette here. Again, it is disgustingly, disturbingly broken. What's on the inside that counts? So um, this one is, I think it's the model's prefer palette. Oh, it is. Okay, it's on the back. So I just use this brush here. This is just a nude by nature brush. I don't really know that much about brushes. I just kind of like look at a brush and go, yeah, that works. And then just smack it on. So I just do it on my cheekbones up here on my hairline. I don't know what you call that. I'm just going to say my hairline because, you know, I'm a professional. I then move on to blush, and the blush that I use at the moment is this one here. This is, so far, the first product that has had all of the uh, names still on it. This is the W7 Powder Blush. I don't know. Yeah, that's it there. I got this from Chemist Warehouse because, you know, I'm really upmarket. This is a another brush that is pink. I love blush. I love, like, really breezy cheeks, so I kind of go to town on this. I just kind of like rub the excess in with my fingers. I don't even know like the order that you're meant to put your makeup on. I just kind of like go in order of appearance. So um, I then do highlighter. This is Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Highlighting Stick. That's a mouthful. Say that three times really fast. So yeah, I just kind of highlight up there and then just use God's brushes to blend it in. I also just put like a tiny little bit on my nose, a little bit above my cupid's bow. We have done all that, now I'm going to move on to my eyeliner. I love white eyeliner. I always put it like in my waterline. So this is one that I've had for way too long. The company name has literally gone from it because of how far I've sharpened it. And that just kind of goes like in here. Also, no one ever looks attractive uh, when you're doing your eyeliner. Ever. No one can make an attractive eyeliner putting on face. And then I move on to mascara. I literally smashed myself in the chin with my hands. Mascara that I use is this one here. Again, it is completely 
disturbed by no more labeling on it. Um, but this is another literal just chemist warehouse one. I think I got this for three dollars, and this is by far the best mascara I've ever used. Um, and it was literally so so cheap, and it does a better job than any mascara that I've ever used before. So highly recommend this one if you can figure it out by the color scheme. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with my application process today. So far, I haven't managed to get any on my nose. Oh, wait, yes I have, Never mind. So that is my mascara process featuring mascara on my nose because, you know, it's quite big, it gets in the way of everything. After that, we move on to eyeshadow. For my eyeshadow, I use my Naked by Urban Decay palette and this is like the only like high-end makeup that I actually own. The mirror has come out of it. I don't know why, I've had this for a long time. I'm going to be using the shade Chopper. Chopper? 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 That's, yeah. And I'm just going to be using this kind of everywhere. Just keep blending until there is no more to blend. Just blend like crazy. There we go! So I never wash my brushes, I just wipe them on my skin. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this colour just here and just gently getting that. And that's going to go kind of like smoke it up there just to kind of Add a bit of diversity, you know? You feeling that? So that is my finished eyeliner. Eyeliner? Eyeshadow. Yeah, that one. We are now going to go into eyeliner. I use the Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer by Rimmel. This is just a kind of natural brown one. It's really good. It's kind of like smudgy, so I like it. It works quite well. We are just going to put that under that, under my eyeballs. I also put it like here, just on the, yeah. And then once that is done, you can find this brush again and then just kind of like blend it out a bit you feel me yeah like so after that I then move on to my eyebrows because they are the most important feature on my face I use a couple of different things for my eyebrows one of the ones that I use is the Cabrow brow thick now this is just a like a pencil type of deal this is quite thick I use this if I'm doing like a bit of a dramatic look the other one that I use is this one here which is models prefer essential brow kit this has been used pretty much entirely all up. So I just used gel of that now because the rest of it is gone. I've got an eyebrow brush somewhere, but I seem to have misplaced it because uh, I misplace most things that I own. So um, I can't seem to find that. So we are going to improvise today and instead of using the uh, actual brow brush, we're just going to be using literally the same brush that we've been using for everything. We're going to be using this brush. So we just kind of work with it. You know, we work with what we've got. So that's literally it. That is all I do with my eyebrows. I literally just kind of like brush them out a bit and then just kind of let them do their thing. So that is practically all that I do. Sometimes I put lipstick on, sometimes I won't. Sometimes I will put a different colored eyeshadow on, sometimes I won't. This is my basic look that I do when I'm going out somewhere, when I'm just kind of doing a whatever thing. Um, yeah, so this is my this is my makeup. This is how I do it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you don't actually like take anything from it and actually use any advice because um, I'm not very good. I just thought it would be something fun to try, something new, something different. If you guys want to see other videos similar to this or whatever, let me know. Give this a thumbs up if this was something that you enjoyed, if it's something that you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn notifications on by pressing that little bell button. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! I got to be in That's Life, Ruby Magazine, local newspapers, over 50 online articles. Matilda and I were even in a pedigree ad.